Hello again. So we're going to carry on with our list work uh, and we're going to look at how we can use something called random, which uh, I don't think you've used before, um, to get a random monster uh, from our list. Okay. And once again, this is quite often used in computer games where you want to randomly um, apply a monster to a particular area that a character has gone into and you want it to be random so that every time they go there it's a different monster. All right. So we're going to use lists to do this and how do we do this? Well we're going to go into a new REPL and we're going to go to yep Python and let's call it uh, brand monster and click create. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our list of uh, monsters, okay? Uh, actually, no, the first thing we're going to do, because we're going to use something called random, uh, which is a, um, a thing in Python that we can import a, a, a module or a library, sometimes they're referred to, um, but allows us to use special commands that can help us create random numbers. Um, so, for the first thing we must do is, we did this a little bit with the turtle many uh, weeks ago, um, we import... Uh, this item. So we're going to import and it's called ra oh, random. Oh, I, I can't spell. Okay, import random. And we'll see how, what we can do with that in a minute. But that's the first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to create a list of monsters. So let's just call this monsters. And oh, equals. And then let's start making some monsters. So let's have a shark. Um, let's have a goblin. Uh, let's have a dragon and let's have uh, an orc. Okay, so here's some random monsters, or not yet, here's a list of monsters. And what we're going to want to do is uh, we want our um, game to randomly choose a monster every time a character goes into a particular room. Okay, so uh, how do we do that? So, first thing is we have to create a random number because, as I said before, each one of these items in the list, okay, has what we call an index, all right? As I said before, it's like an address. So shark has the index zero, goblin, index one, dragon, index three, orc, index, no, I'm sorry, I've got that wrong. Sorry, shark is index zero, goblin's index one, dragon's index two, and orc is index three, okay? So we're gonna have to generate a random number between zero and three. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to create the number. So we're going to uh, make a variable, all right? Um, I'm going to call this num1, num okay? And this will equal random dot rand and then rand int, okay? And then we're going to put in two numbers. We're going to put in zero and then a comma and then the number three. So what this will do, this piece of code, we are making a new variable. I'm just calling it nummon because it's representing the number, of, uh, the number monster, the index of a, uh, a monster in my list. Uh, and this piece of code here, random, means it's going to use the random module that we've imported in here. And there is a function inside that. that go dot randint, and that means create a random integer between zero and three. Okay. So that creates a random number, and that will be given and stored in nummon. Okay, so let's uh, see what happens there. So if we want to then print out which random monster this is going to be, uh, we could do something like this. Um, from behind a tree jumps a, okay, and I'm going to then use the plus sign, and now I'm going to type in the name of our list, monsters, square bracket. And instead of putting a number in there, like we do before, we're going to actually use a nummon. So what does this do? So it's going to print out on the screen, okay, from be oh, behind the tree jumps A, and then it's going to add on to it. It's going to look in the list called monsters. This is monsters here. It's going to look in this list. And then this here, num1, will be a number. And that number, okay, is a random one between 0 and 3. So let's run that. 
So from behind a tree jumps a goblin, okay? So if this is random though, every time I click run, it should be randomly different. Let's click this. This time it's an orc. Let's click it run again. A goblin again. An orc. A goblin again. An orc. A shark, okay? It's good to see it does the random. <laughs> an orc. Okay, see if we can get a dragon and a dragon. Okay, just to prove a point. So every time I run this piece of code, num one, num mon will change because it will randomly generate a number between zero and three. And then I can then use that number to find an item in my list called monsters. Okay? So um, I'd like you to practice that. Okay, it's two important skills. So one is to create random numbers. And the other one is to then use those random numbers uh, to find something from a list, okay, and randomly generate it each time, okay? Uh, so just pause this video and practice that.